Hi, and welcome back to, to TNT's Blues Corner. I believe this is episode 16 or 17. Uh, I just recently put up a uh, special episode with uh, Big Bill Morganfield uh, doing Managed Boy. Big Bill is uh, Muddy Waters' son. And Big Bill uh, didn't live with his dad, but he picked up music later in life uh, after Muddy's death, I believe, in 83. But anyway, check it out. But anyway, uh, we're back here with the SG. This is my clean sound. We're going to give it a little bit of dirt with an AC booster by Exotic Effects. So, clean sound one more time. To the dirt. dirt. Pardon me while I take a sip of a frosty beverage tonight. All right, so <clears throat> we're going to start in the neck pickup and uh, I'm just going to play some uh, basic uh, uh, single line uh, rhythms. I just wanted to run over a thing I do in A again with this guitar uh, with some dirt. So here we go. And then on top of that, I would move on down here to the lead channel or the bridge, and I'd play this over. There's uh, that piece of uh, music that I just play around with some, from time to time. It's a little single note thing I, I wrote, but I'm sure it's been done somewhere. Who knows? <clears throat> Maybe Willie Dixon wrote it. He seemed to write everything back in the day. If anybody's uh, out there looking for some great old blues music to listen to, just go out and find some uh, <clears throat> chess records, uh, old records of some of the great blues guys like Buddy Guy, uh, Muddy Waters, uh, and, and that ilk. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you'll come across some uh, wonderful music there. Uh, somebody like uh, Howling Wolf uh, with Hubert Sumlin, little Hubert Sumlin. That's where it all started, uh, electric-wise, uh, from Muddy Waters. Then the cats from Cats. Then the guys from England picked it up, and, uh, and they brought it back to us. So uh, thank God for them, or I probably wouldn't be playing the stuff I play today. <clears throat> My uh, kind of floating through the blues world, uh, started, believe it or not, with Led Zeppelin, and then I got excited about that type of music, and I wanted to know where it came from, a bit of a story, and I didn't realize that until later in life, and looked back on what I, how I was hungry for, for knowledge and information, so I followed them back to guys like Muddy Waters, and all the way back to the source, which uh, for me, Robert Johnson, but anyway, we're going to go, here's the, uh, the middle pickup, which are both pickups together. We'll do the same. Up so you can hear the difference. Nice way to 
playing something like that. <laughs> This guitar is <clears throat> great, clean or dirty. It's a very versatile uh, working machine. And uh, if you haven't played an SG by Gibson, I'd recommend going out and give yourself a shot on one. <clears throat> the neck, at least in this case, I've got a fairly good sized neck on this and uh, it feels great in the hand. It, uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, it's not as uh, slim, I guess, as the uh, some of the uh, Fender Stratocasters I have, but uh, it's it's still comfortable. It, it does kind of get a little bit wider as you go, you know, move up the fretboard. When you get up here, it, it's thinner down here. I, I don't know the measurements, but it's a little thicker up here. But that gives you that nice flat, it almost feels like a flatter radius, which I think it's all the same radius. But there's just something about the feel of the guitar when you get up here. I guess maybe uh, if it is a little wider, the string spacing is a little different. I, I'm not so sure about that. It's just what I feel. But um, this guitar sounds great uh, in the neck pickup when you play up up in this position. It just flows. You know, some guitars you play and it just feels like the notes are getting a little bit muddier and uh, you can't hear the pick attack. I mean, I don't have, my guitars, I pretty much weeded out those guitars over the years, but I look for a guitar <clears throat> that has good pick attack and it's clear and I can hear the notes. Some of that has to do with the pick. You know, I always, as always, I'm using my Red Bear uh, trading company. Uh, uh, synthetic tortoiseshell pick, which is an awesome pick, and uh, <clears throat> and your technique, of course. But uh, it is the guitar, and it's the resonance of the guitar. It's the way the guitar transfers its energy into the pickup and through. <clears throat> I found that mahogany is good for this. Uh, maple caps uh, on the Les Paul is good as well. Um, alder on a Strat for me is. Uh, uh, let me tell you a little bit about, I know we're talking about Gibsons today, but just any guitar in general, especially it has a horn, but strats are easy to do. Uh, the way I, when I go to purchase a guitar or I'm going to look at a guitar when I'm out, one of the first things I do is I take the guitar off the rack, I hold it up by its bout here, you know, like a, say on a Stratocaster, and I play the B string while I'm holding it up like this. And when I'm feeling or trying to feel for is the, the body resonating with the with the B string and uh, if it has a good res if I can feel that B string really strong in the body then I know it's a good transfer between the neck the bridge and the strings and I know that's going to transfer right out of the guitar play your guitar before you buy it uh, acoustically and if it sounds dead and uh, and just don't have anything there then uh, don't buy it because it's going to sound the same plugged through an amp unless you're playing really heavy stuff and you're not worried about that but if you want your guitar to sing it's got to sing acoustically as well so. guitar but I'm gonna just play it acoustically and see if you can hear it. You hear how loud that is and how much that projects. We're talking about a really thin guitar too and an SG. It's just this beautiful set neck, uh, long tenon, the neck comes all the way back into here. I know the pickup route's been cut through it, but it still transfers into the body, and uh, that's another thing you want to look for in a, in a Gibson guitar or a three-neck guitar is a long tenon. It makes a difference, trust me. But anyway, that's this guitar. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll play you out, and uh, I'll see you next time when I grab up another guitar and I uh, kick it through this AC booster and we can see what it can do. <laughs>